Hello, I'm Maria, and today we are going to learn how WordPress themes work and how they can make designing your website easy. If you ever find yourself wondering, what is a WordPress theme? You're not alone. Simply put, a WordPress theme modifies the design of your WordPress-powered website, including adjustments to your display and appearance, and most of the time, some functionality aspects as well. A theme adds beauty and style to your website in the form of colors, fonts, and formatting. It allows you to have special navigational menus and headers, along with overall niche designs such as membership website themes or online stores. But before we get too far, I want to let you know that there will be links to more resources in the video's description. And remember, subscribe and ring that bell to get notifications for future helpful content. Now, let's get started. It's really tough to decide on the best WordPress theme, but we can talk about elements that make a good theme and recommendations as to which merchants and types of themes to consider. A general multi-purpose design or a niche design that caters to your business dealings. Speedy page load time so that your site runs smoothly and doesn't take a long time to render. Lightweight and clean code that doesn't cause conflicts with plugins. High quality customer support with access to forums, online documentation, and potentially a direct customer support contact option. A responsive layout that works on multiple devices, including phones and tablets. A strong blog design. Demo content that you can import to make your website instantly functional and beautiful. Otherwise, it requires far more customization than one would want. A simple minimalist design that utilizes white space properly and eliminates unnecessary clutter. Compatibility with the vast majority of popular plugins. Options to work with either the built-in WordPress block editor or one of the many reputable page builders. Ideally, you'd find a theme that runs with a drag and drop page builder. And settings to adjust branding and design elements like typography and colors. You have several choices to make when selecting a WordPress theme. The first step is figuring out if you'd like a multi-purpose or niche theme. A multi-purpose theme works best for WordPress agencies or those who want the ability to turn the base theme into any type of design for any type of industry. Multi-purpose themes are more versatile, but sometimes they're not necessary if you already know the niche you're focusing on. A niche theme sticks to one industry design, such as a design for an architecture firm or band website. If you select a niche theme, you'll need to choose a theme based on your industry or functionality desires. For instance, you can find many themes in the following categories. E-commerce, corporate, medical, blogging, entertainment, forums and communities, membership sites, social networks, custom support sites, food and restaurants, directories, hotels and travel. Lastly, it's essential to figure out if you'd like to install a free or premium or paid WordPress theme. Free themes are available all over the internet, some of which are great while others are junk. Although the same could be said about premium themes, there's usually more quality control when you pay for a theme. Opting for a free theme may end up being the only option if your budget is limited. However, we encourage you to at least consider a premium WordPress theme since the pricing usually isn't that high. From free themes to premium themes, the internet is a treasure trove of libraries and marketplaces for finding the perfect options. Here are some recommendations on places to find high quality, free and premium themes. The WordPress theme repository is by far the best option when looking for free themes. Not only can you look at ratings and reviews, but you can browse themes from your WordPress dashboard, install them with the click of a button and boom, you've changed your theme. Another option for free themes is to go to premium vendors. They often make limited versions of their premium themes available as free downloads. Premium theme marketplaces provide thousands of themes to browse through and buy. They offer filters and search functions to locate the ideal theme while also looking at reviews and ratings before making a purchase. Here are the best premium theme marketplaces. Theme Forest, Creative Market, Mojo Marketplace, My Theme Shop, Template Monster. On the other hand, you could skip the marketplace chaos and buy directly from a theme developer. 
These companies provide their own theme portfolios, and you often receive top-notch customer support. The only problem is that you won't see any user ratings like you would find in a marketplace. You can find hundreds of great options through a Google search, but some reputable theme developers include Theme Isle, WP Astra, Themify, Nimbus Themes, Tesla Themes, A Themes, Theme Trust. Parent and child WordPress themes are packaged together, working in tandem to create a unique design. Sometimes premium themes are designed this way with a parent and a child. The reason for this is to provide additional design options where a parent is the default style and you may receive several child themes to instantly turn the design into something drastically different. In the parent-child theme combination, a parent theme provides most of the website's functionality and core settings. This parent theme builds the foundation for that website and often isn't customized as much as a child theme. In fact, it's not a good idea to customize a parent theme at all. Developers like to utilize the parent themes because they have the ability to secure the core features in that parent theme, but still modify the website's design by messing with the child theme. It's also easier to extend upon a child theme since it's more flexible than the parent theme. When working with a parent-child theme combo, the parent theme is installed first. You then install and activate the child theme afterwards. A WordPress child theme adds a level of extendability and security to a website and theme because you don't need to write much code or modify the parent theme's files at all. Instead, a child theme serves as a more flexible test dummy for the design. When editing a regular theme without a child theme, you're permanently editing the core files when making customizations. Other options for customizations include working with a visual builder or installing a plugin. Many developers find that it's easier to install a child theme of the parent because of the security and flexibility benefits. A child theme contains at least the following files a stylesheet and functions.php file. In fact, most child themes stick to the minimum number of files possible. In order to change the child theme, the functions PHP or style sheets files need editing. You also have the option to add more files to the child theme. For instance, you could override a page template file in the parent theme by adding a new one in the child theme folder. It's also possible to control much of the design and functionality of the parent theme by adding to the functions in stylesheet files. If you're a business owner, you've probably never thought about how your WordPress theme is actually made. However, it's important for developers to understand the inner workings of themes for their own development purposes. In addition, it's not a bad idea for anyone who uses a WordPress theme to at least know the basics. It's like owning a house. You may not know how to repair the furnace, but you should know where it's located, how to turn it off, and maybe some maintenance practices. A theme is the same way. Your business relies on a theme functioning properly, so it's not a bad idea to figure out a little bit about how it works. As mentioned briefly before, a WordPress theme is a collection of files, each with their own purposes that come together and function to provide a graphical and functional interface on the internet. A WordPress theme renders its features and design elements on the WordPress content management system. But technically, the WordPress theme files are stored on a server managed by your hosting company. Developers call them template files, and they include a wide array of files that change the way your site gets shown on the internet, all without adjusting the core WordPress tools. Some of the types of files include the following. PHP files. PHP files contain all the code required to tell other files what to do on the website. They hold the overall structure of the theme and interact with CSS and media files to give them orders on how to function. CSS files. These are style sheets to modify the way data designs are displayed on your website. CSS files can control anything from font size to button positioning to column formatting. GIF, PNG, or JPEG files. These are image files, and they're no different than a standard JPEG or PNG image file you store on your computer. The only difference is that they're organized in a website folder and told to show up in a particular place on your site. These file formats indicate the types of files stored in your template. There are hundreds, if not thousands, of each type of file. In addition, the file counts get larger as you build your site. For instance, 
Every time you upload a new blog post image, it gets stored as a JPEG or PNG file in the theme folder. Each of these files is stored in one theme folder, which is typically broken up into a handful of other categorized folders. As for specific files, WordPress themes contain special files that deliver static content to certain pages. Every time you modify one of these files, the changes are detected so that they can get reflected on the right page or website location. Here are a few of the specific WordPress theme files you'll see in just about every theme folder. Header PHP, a file that works globally and presents static elements like navigation menus and headers. The file stores HTML files as well. Footer PHP, this is another global file that controls the static footer with formatting and content data. Like if you have a menu in your footer or links to your support documentation. Sidebar PHP. Any sidebar you activate on your WordPress theme is controlled by this file, the loop. We refer to the loop as the WordPress theme files that present the primary website content on your website. Page PHP. This file manages the look of all WordPress pages. In the file, you can modify options like having a sidebar or not. You can also generate unique page templates as substitutes for the primary page template. Single PHP. The single PHP file controls the format and style of individual posts, so you can specify aspects like sidebars and heading sizes. Index PHP. The index file is a rather important one, seen as how it maintains the look of your homepage. This is one of the primary files that gets changed with a theme because something like an e-commerce or corporate theme often needs more than just a list of blog posts. Tag PHP, category PHP, and archive PHP. Some of the other files control what the archive pages and posts look like on your websites. The category and tag files can be created to modify what specific category and tag pages look like when they end up in the archives. Keep in mind that all WordPress theme files could technically have different names than what we're discussing here because it's possible a custom developer could name them differently. The following files are often considered background files. They're still extremely important for a theme to work but have more of a background role for manipulating the previously mentioned files. Style CSS. This is the main CSS file for controlling many visual aspects of your website. CSS works side by side with HTML and other WordPress files to style the foundational structure of your site. Functions PHP. Here's a file that allows you to insert your own PHP code to change around certain areas of the core theme. Comments PHP. This file is ready and waiting if you have comments on your posts or pages, but usually on posts. We have loops and files and many other items that make up a WordPress theme. That's all great, but what do those files actually do? What are they working to achieve? Overall, WordPress themes and their files compile the files, content, and data stored on WordPress. And in the files on your server, the theme then displays the files in a suggested format to the user's computer or mobile browser. Each file and loop dictates how the content is displayed in the browser. The theme files display things as simple as the right coloration for your text and buttons. They also pull the correct code and files to present your menu in the proper way. Here are some other things that WordPress themes do. Load images and media items in the right locations and show them to the user. Customize various elements with the use of CSS, like with your typography or buttons. Show dynamic content based on which device is being used or which page is clicked. Responsive designs are included in this as well. And present alternative layouts and decide whether or not to utilize one column or two. Kinsta's WordPress hosting can speed up your website by up to 200%, and you'll get 24-7 support from our expert WordPress engineers. Let us show you the Kinsta difference. Try a free demo of our My Kinsta dashboard at demo.kinsta.com. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials, explainers, and helpful content like this.